Hey everybody, how you doing today? I hope you're all doing very well indeed. Now, as a world, we are in a bit of dilemma. Now, firstly, let's let's just let's just delve into this. I'm sure you're all you've all seen, you're all aware of what's going on. But the writers have had enough. The rich corporate piggy wiggies at the top who are stealing everyone's money and while sitting on their fat yachts and fat pads and driving in 12 different cars a year. Now they're taking all the money, which is not not a surprise. That's not the breaking news, is it? The the rich are getting getting richer now what they are wanting is fair pay they get it in other jobs so why shouldn't they the writers themselves but it makes you wonder who is these writers we're talking about are these the ones who are the smaller writers who we don't see how much are these lot getting paid why are they not getting compensated well in terms of myself who doesn't like a good film i love going to the cinema it's probably one of my favorite things to do nothing beats it and yeah some of them aren't great but some of them are good that's just how life goes now recently though they've all been a bit crap they have been crumbling Nothing's been enjoyable to watch. I've not personally been enjoying anything that's particularly uh, thrilling. Indiana Jones wasn't great. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Mission Impossible. Um, all the Marvel stuff's been crap recently. Right, watch this. The Marvels will be the worst film of 2023. I will bet my house on it, and I don't even have a house. Guardians of the Galaxy 3, I really enjoyed. Ant-Man and the Wasp, I want surgically removing from my head. Wakanda Forever, I don't remember it, so I don't think it was particularly thrilling. Love and Thunder. <coughs> Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I'm not the biggest fan, but I didn't think it was terrible. I liked when Wanda killed all them people. As many of you are probably aware, Marvel is dying. They are pumping out so much crap, unbearable. I mean, let's just look at the box office. Now, you got to remember, not only are films recovering from COVID, which obviously meant they couldn't film, they couldn't record, they couldn't do whatever you do making a film. So they've, they're, they're slowly recovering. But the top film is Mario. So that's over a billion. Now, how many films usually reached a billion? Not many, but you know, there was more than one. I mean, no, don't get me wrong, that's still a good box office, I'm sure, isn't it? I mean, I don't really know. PG-13. But my favourite part of that entire film was when he was like, get in the fucking car. The, there's a real lack of quality. The quality isn't getting the viewership, so no one's actually watching these TV shows and these films, all this nonsense that they're spewing out. Uh, I mean, everything from Star Wars Marvel to your more critically acclaimed stuff, shall we say. I mean, The Idol did terribly, and I think it was terrible, but I, I don't watch weird shit like that. Uh, there's no point, as you can just go on the P hub to do all that look here avengers endgame i'll throw you back 2019 that came out that bad boy 2019 can you believe it made billions b -b 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 with a b avatar which confuses me who the fuck went and saw avatar so many times it did that like it's a three hour film and i don't remember it being amazing I, it blows my mind every time that that did that well titanic i think that's a lie i don't believe that made that much money i think someone's clearly lying figures there star wars is star wars it people go see it even if it's crap avengers can understand Damn, that was probably the better one, wasn't it? Jurassic World, what's that doing there? I mean, my dad probably saw it ten times, so apologies. Lion King was terrible. Avengers again, Fast and Furious, what the hell? Frozen. Just to show you that these, these are all films that came out probably before COVID, all of them, didn't they? So ever since COVID, the the, uh, the industry's been vacking up slightly. It's been a bit of a tough one. Well, it's got even tougher. The uh, strikes are going on. Now, these have been going on for a while now. So even celebrities are, uh, are coming in now and look at that. Fred Armisen's there, all joining in. Pete Davidson, good man. Susan, I'm sure she's lovely. And, uh, you know, this is getting quite, quite serious. Now, they started, I believe, in March or February, maybe. And look, they're not getting paid. This blows my mind. How can you make something and not get paid for it? These are not getting compensated for the amount of work they do. Uh, it makes you wonder, what are they on? Are they on a fixed salary? Do they get paid per project? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, lots of celebrities joining in now. And what's even funnier is Bob Iger, a multi 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 millionaire he's probably got more cars than kids i think he is talking some gobbledygookoo as usual they all do so basically their end game and not to be related to avengers end game is to let them continue let them protest for as many days as possible let them go broke run out of money so they can't fuel their car or pay their electricity bill pay their rent whatever life is throwing at them so they're just going to sit here it's almost like war they have just said well we're going to sit in here we'll sit in our bunker we're got enough money to live have you and they, they know they haven't because they know how much they bloody paid them and uh, they, they just plan on sinking the ship so they are going to play the long game which i think is kind of crazy I, I i don't understand what their plan is i think ha you know considering you have 20 30 million in your pocket or whatever why can't you give the people who are making you that money more it's disgusting and it's it's typical bloody pigs in suit telling you what you'll earn because they want to earn more and you see it in all of life uh, i mean in a 
normal job like anything from sales or something like that you know you, you do all the work but really the business is the one who gets all the money it's typical corporate pigs and it's disgusting and it just shows you it's it's rife within this world it's rife within everything you ever do Bob Iger's got more money than sense he's said it's very disturbing and that you know they're, they're not being reasonable and I think that's pretty hilarious coming from a man sat in his Ferrari in front of one of his five houses at locking behind doors they said see and his comments have only made him worse and what they're also protesting about is AI so what these businesses can do is they can copy someone like for like acting voice whatever do that once and then they'll be able to use their likeness forever and ever and ever yes yeah, so he's even saying it's the worst time to add that disruption it's going on for months mate where where you know where where do you see this in 10 years do you think actors will still be a thing I mean we saw in a uh, secret invasion I'm not seeing it but apparently their intro is AI generated and it's not great is it I mean, it's just weird looking things like this I mean in 10 years time will there be no actors what does it mean for the film and TV is it just going to slowly decline I love going to the cinema the longer these strikes go on the longer it takes for the Batman 2 to come out and I'm not having that so we need to come up with a conclusion I think people like Bob Iger we just cut them out get rid of them completely put them on their own island again I'm really a big fan of that leave them there with all their money and let's see how well they do then then we can have people like the little guys you know the writers whatever else the editors I don't know right but once these lot get most of the money for you know the work since all these ideas are coming from them and not the idiots sat at the top who were just there for the red carpet when the production comes out then we can get rid of them and we can compensate their salary and spread it across the writers it is an interesting question is there something more sinister here in the future I, I truly believe AI and anything to do with AI and artificial intelligence is going to ruin this world and ruin our lives I don't think this is going to make things better it's considering you can make scripts I mean I was messing around with chat GPT the other day and I didn't understand it but imagine if someone did understand it and the stuff I got out of it was insane so if someone really understood how to use it effectively then they'd be bloody laughing they'd have so much so many options and opportunities out there imagine being an actor and you do one act one performance next thing you know two years later you're in a TV show you never agreed to they've not paid you because you, you they've got your figure they've got your identification your character that sort of model and they're just using you like a bloody puppet. I mean will AI film TV technology will that will that ever have a place really I don't think so but I'm often wrong about everything in life so I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the same I think it's also going to be quite interesting to see how long this lasts are they going to just play the long game because I think ultimately they they will probably win won't they I think how long can you realistically hold off against corporate you know multi-billion dollar corporations who don't really give a shit about you these writers you know they're they're seen as replaceable writers come and go businesses do not they're looking for new people to come in and write I mean I'm sure they've probably got a backroom team already hiding downstairs in floor Z you know no one's allowed in it's where they keep the alien spacecrafts and stuff like that who are already working on future scripts but just secretly so when that uh, everything does get back to normal they're done I mean I saw Daredevil stopped production which is you know interesting I saw the Batman spin off the Penguin that stopped production you know what what's going to happen here because selfishly I want some good film and TV show and all the good ones that I'm excited for are getting blocked they're getting paused because pigs in suits and I've said that and I'll keep saying it because it sounds cool as uh, causing problems for people affecting their livelihood to put dinner on the table and that's not fucking acceptable so you know these are peaceful protests um, I think you know how, how far are they going to take this I think that they're not going to take it much further than a few signs and a few billboards and maybe throwing a few people like Pete Davidson to get a few likes on Instagram but I think that's all they can do and I think the, the CEOs and the top dogs know that so they are playing the long game but look let me know what you guys thought I think this is kind of crazy how long it's gone on for and that no one budging so look we'll see where it goes but that's all take care guys bye bye